Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here for my wrap up of my Roof Vent Fantastic Fan installation on my camper. I'm um, basically done with this. All thing I have left to do is wire it up so I can't put the internal frame in yet. I'll show you that in a second. But what we have here is I'm waiting for the self-leveling sealant to basically finish leveling out. I put on a layer underneath with the putty, then I put on uh, the rest of the tube on top. I don't try and save the tube. It sometimes will last a while, sometimes it won't. I just waste it all out here and just fill it up. The only issue is some people complain that I make a valley here, which can retain a little bit of water, but it's so small, there's no way it's really going to happen. Plus when this drops down, it's all good. You'll notice here, there's a couple holes mounted on this, each side. That's actually what I use to mount the max air cover, which will go on top of this, will allow the vent to be open in the rain. So right now I'm not putting it on yet because again, like I said, I've got the wet sealant. So I gotta give that a few hours. Might even wait till tomorrow morning and then screw that cap on the top. So. Yeah, pretty much um, done with this whole thing. I've got the vent open so it can basically chill out and let it, you know, keep the smells from coming inside the camper. Um, you see the bed's still not done yet. I'm going to the store in a minute. I wanted to get the, van, the fan in. See anything else, I gotta make some brackets for this and the center support. But that right there is the fan on the inside. This is one that has a blow in and a blow out. Also has the three speeds, three speeds in and out, and a thermostat, which I really love. It's one of the thermostats, so you can set it. So let's say at night, it's gonna be getting cold. Set it to a temperature you like. When it gets that temperature, it'll shut off. Or say in the middle of the morning, you're gonna take off, you can turn it to a temperature when it gets to a certain heat temperature, then kicks on and keeps your van, your van, your camper, or whatever you have it in, um, cooler. So this is the beauty ring that goes around the outside in here, which I need to wait, like I said, until I get the wires done. I had to cut this off, it was like, four inches thick because it's expected to go inside a RV or something with an actual, you know, multiple thick roof with insulation and all that. And these don't have that. So if you look here really close, you can see the fan itself is actually, the frame is longer than the actual ceiling is thick. So there's, this had to be cut down as short as I cut this down with my saw and slides are up in the hole and screws onto the top. I technically could have just cut this outside lip off, but I wanted it to stay centered with that lip and that'll also hide these wires and because it's just a solid or um, a particle board roof these wires are going to be exposed i'm going to run them over here to this panel right here by the roof support and then run them left or right i don't know which way yet depends on where i mount my battery in order to be able to hook this thing up to power so this is a 12 volt fan so i'll need my battery in the camper even if i'm camping i will need the battery in there in order to run that fan i'm not going to put in a um 110 fan because I'll use it way more often because if I have 110 I'll run the air conditioner more than likely so wanted to go 12 volt the other thing I could do is I can run a 12 volt inverter off the 110 into a 12 volt inverter and I'll probably mount one of those as well down the road but it's not the big priority I wanted this fan in for my trip to Iowa coming up next week a week from today I'll be on the road up there so I want this in at least I don't care if I just have some jumper wires running over to it for now I can have some fan going because we're going to be camping out at least two nights uh, maybe four nights without any 110 power at all. So I need some air moving throughout the system. So that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys soon. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Get out there and don't be afraid to modify your runaway.